So this video is going to tell something that people know, but I think that people need to be reminded of. Uh, Wikipedia is not a very reliable source of information, uh, especially when it comes to video games. Uh, I'm going to zero in on uh, one particular article to prove my case. Uh, firstly, anybody who's familiar with the computer RPG uh, article, which is now, because of uh, an argument between five people, has been completely renamed to the role-playing video game, <laughs> um, there is the cultural differences section. And as I've talked about in some of my videos, the cultural differences uh, that people think, especially with game reviewers, or some of the major game reviewers, is bullshit. Uh, the things that they point out, you know, like for example, religion. You know, they talk about, there's a huge emphasis in religion in Japanese games, and oh, America doesn't do that, you know, because it's taboo. You've obviously never played any of the Ultima games or any of the Dungeons and Dragons video games, if you think that. Um, you're basically stupid, and you don't know what you're talking about. And uh, when you point these things out, they don't care, you know. It was in a game, uh, a game journalist said it, you know, it was in an editorial, and they're reliable. I said, well, actually, they're not reliable because they accept bribes. It's well known that some of the major gamer magazines are either owned by game developers or game retailers, like, uh, for example, Game Informer is owned by GameStop. You know, so it's basically the Sears catalog uh, for GameStop. But that doesn't matter, you know, they're, they have always subscribers. You know, they have always subscribers, so they're reliable, just like the weekly world news. Uh, but here's the real, uh, here's the real problem. The problem is that these are consumer magazines. Now, this little section here, the cultural differences, the entire source is from game uh, consumer magazines or they're from blogs like Kutaku. You know, because Kutaku is really reliable when they report on things that don't even freaking exist. So, <laughs> it's so stupid that I even have to make a video about this to inform people that you can't just believe something because somebody said it. There needs to be a logical, uh, there needs to be facts, there needs to be evidence, there needs to be logic behind the statements, otherwise it's bullshit. Let me tell, uh, show you what a reliable source looks like. This is a reliable source. This is Designing Virtual Worlds, written by Dr. Richard Bartle. It is a peer-reviewed book. It's been reviewed by two other experts. Everything um, that's uh, a statement of fact is sourced. It's either sourced to an article from Gamma Sutra, which is an industry magazine, uh, which basically, it's not entirely peer-reviewed, but a lot of the articles that are featured in it have been peer-reviewed, and he focuses on those. And of course, like, who the hell is Dr. Richard Bartle? Well, he's the, uh, one of the co-creators of MUD1, the first uh, multi-user dungeon, which is basically the forerunner of the massively multiplayer online RPGs. And what is this book about? It's about online RPGs. So, this is a credible book. It's been peer-reviewed. It, uh, it cites its facts. This is GamePro. This is a consumer magazine written by people who are not experts on video games and only have degrees in journalism and probably couldn't find work anywhere else. And why do I say that? Well, because their articles are not sourced. Some of them are opinion. And some of them are just bullshit. For example, this one has the World of Warcraft, the history. And if you believe this article, which is basically a PR piece for World of Warcraft, if you believed it, you would think that World of Warcraft came uh, fully formed out of the either of the minds of its designers as this ultimate game, when in reality it started out as a, uh, almost a complete clone of EverQuest. And uh, there was a section in, uh, right at the start of the article where they said that from the start, they were focused, the design team was focused, on making a game that had very little downtime. That's not actually true. Uh, anybody who's played the Alpha and the Beta could tell you that there was a huge amount of downtime because every time you freaking died, you had res sickness. Every single time. Not just when you use a spirit healer, every single time. Priests, when talent systems were actually uh, finally implemented, yeah, talents were part of World of Warcraft at the start, weren't implemented until Beta. Uh, the, one of the talents for priests was that they reduced the time of the uh, res sickness. And why was that? Well, because you could have res sickness for a fucking hour. Oh yeah, that's downtime, ain't it? Uh, another thing is that uh, the rest bar experience. Everybody's really familiar with the rest bar experience. Well, when it first started out, um, it was actually a penalty. If you didn't have a full rest bar, you didn't get full experience. If you had, uh, if you depleted rest bar, 
You know what you got? You got a major reduction in experience. So it was kind of stupid to even try to level. So the article is basically bullshit. It hasn't been researched at all. It's just a PR piece for, uh, for Blizzard. You know, and that would be fine if they stated from the very fact, uh, from the very start, that it was a PR piece for Blizzard, but they don't. They say that they're an independent magazine, but it's bullshit. That's what it is. This is bullshit. This is a reliable source. This is bullshit. This is a reliable source. This is bullshit. This is a reliable source. And the problem is that very few of these are sourced on Wikipedia, and a hell of a lot of these are sourced on Wikipedia. So don't just believe everything you read on Wikipedia about video games. You see, when I pointed out that this, this stuff, is not a reliable source, and explained the reasons why, their response was basically that they couldn't find any better sources. So that was all, you know, that's all they could find. Uh, when I point out that they don't have to use them as a source, that if the information cannot be verified uh, to be true from a reliable source, that it shouldn't be on fucking Wikipedia, they didn't fucking care. So don't trust Wikipedia. As it stands right now, the articles, the people who are the editors, uh, who have self-appointed themselves the editors of Wikipedia's articles concerning games, they're sourcing this crap instead of this stuff because they're too fucking lazy. You know, if they have to do some real investigative work in order to find the facts, they're just volunteers. It doesn't matter. So be aware. This is bullshit.